walk you through doing this week's podcast. I'm going to show you step by step by step how I do it. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about stories, writing, and getting our kids into books. And I want to talk to you today about why I started a podcast with my daughter. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that Vienna and I do a podcast once a week where we make up a story and Vienne does most of the making up of the story and I just kind of prod her along to make sure she stays on track. We use five sentences, which are the magic five sentences of storytelling and that's it. That's what we do. Why did I do that? I'll explain to you how I did that later in the video, but first let's talk about why I did that and why start a podcast with a six-year-old. I knew that it was going to be hard to keep her focused. I knew she was going to ramble on. I knew she was going to rather watch TV than do the podcast with me. So why did I do this to myself? I love stories. And my daughter and I don't really connect on a lot of stuff. And this was something I really thought I could connect with her with and bring her into my world and we could grow up together. So I taught her how to write a story using these five sentences. It was basically survival time during COVID because I couldn't handle homeschooling. So we did it and it was fun and we enjoyed doing it. We started calling it the story game and it was wonderful. She said to me, I'm not a writer like you, mommy. I'm not a reader like you, mommy. I don't like books. I don't like reading. I don't like writing. And I was like, hmm, well, we can't have that. I mean, she doesn't have to be a writer. She doesn't have to read all the time, but she's going to have to learn to read and learn to write because that's what you have to do when you're six. So I needed to make it fun and I needed to make it fun fast. That's the why. Now the how. I didn't know how to make it. <laughs> I didn't know how to make a podcast. I'd never done a podcast before. I'm a writer. I write. I don't do radio, although I've got a face for it. So I thought, well, I make YouTube videos, so why can't I just use my YouTube equipment, which is pretty, eh, I know guys, I'm sorry, I'll upgrade eventually, but I, I'll just use that and then I will figure it out. So I make a YouTube video, she likes looking at herself, she has done since she was less than one years old, so I'll just get her to look at herself and tell herself a story and then she'll have some fun. So we started doing that and we worked out the five sentences with our story game. And we just recorded it. Now I've got a video. So now I've got a video. Well, that's great for YouTube, but what about the podcast? Now, I told you I'd show you the how. So we're going to pop over to my screen. I'm going to walk you through doing this week's podcast. I'm going to show you step by step by step how I do it on my screen. So as I said, I start with editing the video. This is my editing software here. It's called Win Movie Maker. It start came with my HP computer it's nothing fancy but I can edit it as oh, I go here. I'll just snag a photo and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that bit later on but once I've finished editing my video I export it and then I've got a video but now what do I do with it so let me pop you over and I'll show you this free converter software and I'll put the link in to the comments and description below so you can see that but then I just upload my video to it and convert to an mp3 it's that easy and i'll just speed through that guys and i've got an audio file but i want to just up my game a little bit and i want to have a thumbnail as well so i hop into canva and i'm just going to use another thumbnail that i've used before but i'm going to show you what i did with that picture i captured so i'm going to upload it to canva here and i'm going to pop it in here and then i'm going to remove the background using this canva tool here and that gives me a nice little image change the color, change the text, and that's it. Bob's your uncle. I've got a new thumbnail, and let's put it all together. Here I am in Anchor. So I am just going to start by doing a new episode. Now, Anchor is great because it connects directly to Spotify, and it's free, which is awesome. Loving that. So we'll just pop up here to new episode, and then once we've done that, we'll upload that audio file, that mp3 that we had converted before. And then we will save that and pop over to complete our episode. So we're going to give it a title. We're going to give it a little bit of a description there. And then we're going to change the image. Now you don't have to. Obviously, this is the main image for my podcast, but we're going to use that little image and just add a little more interest to the, st to the story game podcast here. And 
that's it. It's as easy as that and you're done. Now you can get really fancy and I'm going to post this into YouTube as I usually do and I'm going to pop it onto my website. So I might pop those links into my description there. I might come back and do that. I'm going to schedule it for 2 a.m. and the reason I do that is because Google tells me that's the best time to to put a podcast up. I don't know why, but apparently it is. So that's it, guys. That is how I do my podcast with my daughter. And it costs me nothing but time. And she has a podcast. How many of her friends have a podcast? And it's something we do together and it's super fun. I have seen such a development in her reading and writing in the few short weeks that we've been doing this. It is amazing and I love it. I'm glad that something I finally tried worked. So if you want to see more videos like this about how I get my daughter as excited about reading and writing as I am, subscribe to my channel and also head over to Facebook and join the writing club where your young author can share their work with other young authors. Or if you're a writer who writes for kids, you share your work and get kids to read it and actually find out if kids are interested in what you're writing. Thanks so much. And are you ready? Are you set? Let's start writing.